So today in front of us, we have 25 times 10. The problem is written on the blackboard. However, if you want to excel in math, you I highly recommend that you get a sharp pencil and you do your math problems on a graph paper. So here on this graph paper, we rewrote 25 times 10. And let's get down to it to learn how we do the system. So the first thing we do is we take 0 times 5, and then we're going to take 0 times 2. So when we take 0 times 5, the answer is 0. When we take 0 times 2, the answer will also be zero the next thing we do is we put a zero right up here and then we go one times five and the answer will be five then we take one times two and the answer will be two then we add the double zeros plus 250 and we always start with the right column. So 0 plus 0 will be 0. 0 plus 5 will be 5. 0 plus 2 will be 2. So the answer is 250. So we got two factors. Factor times a factor equals the product. 25 times 10 equals 250. Also, to excel in math, you always double check, if not triple check, your work. Now, you could always use a calculator, but imagine the high possibility that you will end up on some remote island where you may not have a calculator. So one of the ways to check your work is you flip flop the factor. So instead of 25 times 10, it's going to be 10 times 25. And the same thing, we take 0 times 5, which will be 0. Then we take 5 times 1, which will be 5. We then put the zero right up here, and then we go two times zero, which will be zero. Two times one will be two. We then add them up, and we always start with the right column. Zero plus zero equals zero. Five plus zero equals five. 0 or nothing plus 2 will equal 2. The answer is 250, so they do match. So here we have 25 times 55. Once again, we're going to take 5 times 5, and the answer will be 25. Now, we do not write 25, we only write the second digit, which is the 5. And the 2, we carry to the top and put it over this 2. Next, we take 5 times 2 plus 2. And 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 will be 12. And we put 12 right up here. Then... We put the zero right up here, or you could leave a blank, but put the zero for now. And next, we're going to take five times five. And once again, the answer is 25. But we only put the second digit, which is the five, and the two we carry on top. And cross out the previous two because we don't need it. Then we take 5 times 2 plus 2, and we know that 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 will be 12. And this time you write both digits 12 right up here. Next, we add them up. And of course, we start with the right column. 5 plus 0 equals 5. 
2 plus 5 equals 7, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 0 or nothing plus 1 will equal 1. So, 25 times 55 will equal 1,375. Factor times factor will equal the product. And of course, let's review. Remember, to excel in math, you have to double check, triple check your work. Of course, you could use a calculator, but what if it's Christmas break and you left your calculator in school in your locker? What if it's a dark winter night and the solar little cell on your calculator does not work? Or perhaps you flushed your calculator down the toilet by mistake. So there's always going to be situations where you might not have a calculator. Your mom might take away your smartphone, which has a calculator on it. So this is why you have to do it manually. So once again, we will flip-flop the numbers, put 55 on top and 25 on the bottom. We then take 5 times 5, which is 25, the 5, the second digit, we put right here, and the 2 we carry on the top. Next, we take 5 times 5, and which is 25, plus the little 2 on top, which will make it 27, and we put the 27 right up here. Next, we do the second set of numbers, and always remember to put the little zero right up here, or you could leave the space blank, but I recommend you put the zero. Next, we take two times five, which will be 10. Now, we only put the second digit, the zero, and the one we carry on top and cross out the previous two. So then we take five times two, plus the little one on top and that will be 11 and we put the 11 right up here both of the digits we right here last but not least we add them up and of course we always go to the right column so 5 plus 0 will be 5 7 plus 0 will be 7 2 plus 1 will be 3, and nothing plus 1 or 0 plus 1 will be 1. The answers match. Both sets, the answers are 1,375.